On October 22nd, 2014, last Wednesday, we here in Ottawa were struck by the horror of finding out that a terrorist had um, gone on a rampage uh, here at Parliament Hill and um, unfortunately um, the life of Corporal Nathan Sorello was lost when the terrorist opened fire on him and then ran into the Parliament building and started shooting in there as well. To honor Corporal Cirillo and all of the men and women who put their lives on the line for my freedoms, I have designed a character in honor of Corporal Cirillo and all of the other uh, men and women in our armed forces. And I debated whether or not to do a tutorial, but I have had so many requests for one that I've decided to do one. Um, and I humbly um, present you the tutorial for the uh, ceremonial guard who guarded the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and lost his life there uh, last Wednesday. For the soldier, we are going to be using a standard rainbow loom in the offset position, but we're going to need two. And you need to join them together so that you're making one really long loom. I'm sure it can be done with just one and transferring it, but I found it a whole lot easier to do it this way based on where it would need to be transferred and it's just this is the way I've designed it. The bands that we'll be using are black, skin tone, white, red, gold, camo tan, the tan color that comes in the camouflage pack, and silver. You will also need beads or bands for the eyes and a C-clip. And I wasn't very happy with the way the tassels turned out on uh, my first design, so I've uh, tried something new for the tassels, and I think I'm going to go with these instead. And I'll show you how to make these. What I've done is I've taken a camo band and cut it in half so that I've got two pieces and I'm going to take a gold band and double it and I'm going to wrap it around my tan band and grab the ends of my band and then I'm going to form a slip knot with my gold bands. Pull that tight and if you just roll your bands down, they will make your tan bands kind of point down instead of sticking out to the sides. So I'm going to do another one of these with you, and then we will pause because we're going to need six of them all together. So again, I've taken a camo tan band, and actually I can uh, I will cut one with you here to show you how I've done that. I've just taken the band, picked a spot, and cut it, fold it in half, and cut it again. And then I've taken a gold band and doubled it. And I will take my two pieces of band and I'm just going to wrap my gold, wrap the tan bands around the gold and hold on to it. And I'm going to form a slip knot with my gold band. And as you see here, they're all sticking out to the sides, but I'm just going to roll the knot of the slip knot down onto the tan bands. So there you go. I'm going to pause the video and we need to do six of these all together. And if you um, if you need to rewind and watch this again so you can uh, to figure out how to get this properly, and I will see you when you get back. Okay, so we should all have six of these little tassels. 
that are part of his uniform and I've just put them on a holding hook and I'm going to set those aside. And next we can make his eyes and I'm going to take a single white band and double it and I'm using Easter grass because you cannot break it, it doesn't fray very easily and it lasts forever. I just now switched to a new piece and the one I started with I started with uh, on Easter Sunday so it's lasted quite a long time and what I've done is I've pre-strung some beads and I'm just going to slide them down my floss or grass. I'm going to make sure that I catch the end of the grass through the center of the bead so that I can then slide it down onto my double looped white band. And I am going to set this aside on my hook. Center my bead and we are going to do that again. A single white band and double it. And I'm going to slide my bead down the floss, making sure that I catch the end of the floss through the center of the bead. And I will slide it down onto my white band. And I'm going to put this on my hook. And again, you can use bands for your eyes if you don't have any beads or if you prefer to use bands. And all you would do is take whichever color you wanted to use for your eyes, um, take that band and double it and wrap it around your hook three times and then thread it onto a double loop white band. You would do that twice and then whether you're using beads or bands for your eyes we're going to take a single skin tone band and slide both eyes onto this band and then we are going to place this on a holding hook and we will set this aside. And next we can make the ears and the nose and for that I'm using skin tone bands and I'm going to take a single skin tone band and wrap it around my hook three times and another skin tone band and double it and I will slide these three loops down onto my skin tone band and that will give us one ear. For the second ear we're going to do the same thing. Wrap a single skin tone band three times around our hook. Take another skin tone band and double it and we will slide all three loops onto our double loop skin tone band and that will give us both ears and we can set this on our holding hook and we'll set this aside and for the nose we are going to take a single skin tone band and double it wrap it around our hook three times we'll take another skin tone band and double it and we will slide all of these loops down onto our skin tone band. And this will give us our nose. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I attach the nose when I'm looping. So I'm just going to leave the nose here on my hook. I'll slide it up out of the way so that I don't forget to attach it later. Next, we are going to do his arms and they are part of his uniform so we will be using black and white and what I'm going to do is use two black bands and we'll be using double bands throughout and I'm going to go down four times from the top with two black bands each time
And for his gloved hand, we are using two white bands. And we will cap this with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. We're going to do the same thing for the other arm. Again, we will go down four times with two black bands each time. And again, for his gloved hand, we will use two white bands capped with a single white band wrapped three times around the peg. Okay, and now we're ready to loop. So I'm just going to reach inside my cap band, grab the two white bands, and loop them forward. Okay, and before we loop the second arm, we want to take a single gold band and wrap it around our hook four times. And now we can go ahead and loop. We're going to reach inside the cap band and loop forward. And when we get to the third black loop, we want to slide these gold bands down onto the black bands before we loop them around the peg above. And then we can finish this off. And we can set these on our holding hook. Just going to remove these from the loom and we will set this aside. And now we can loop the part of his hat, the red and white band on the hat. So we will need our red bands and some more white bands. And we are going to be using one of each. So we are going to put a red band and a white band and we are going to go four times down with a red and white band each time. So one red and one white and one red and one white. And we are going to cap this with a single red band wrapped four times around the peg. And we can loop this. I'm just going to reach inside. Loop this forward. And I'm going to loosen the tension by wrapping my hook around the peg. And then we can continue to loop forward. And this we can also set aside on a holding hook. The next attachment we need to make is the little pom-pom on top of the hat. And what we're going to do is take a single red band and double it. And I'm going to wrap it around my hook three times. And I'm going to take another single red band and double it. And I'm going to slide these bands down on and form a slip knot. And I'm going to pull this a little snug. And again, I'm going to pull this down so that it will kind of go down and cover all of these bands at the end to make our little pom pom a little tighter. And we are going to set this aside. And now we're ready to band our loom and we're going to start at the top with his hat. And we are going to take black bands and I'm going to put two black bands from the first pin in the center to the second. We are going to go from the first pin on the left to the first pin in the center and the first pin on the right to the first pin in the center. And then we are going to go down the left side one time with two black bands. 
and down the right side one time with two black bands. And I'm just going to use my hook to straighten these bands. There we go. And now we are going to add two more black bands going down the center. And then we're going to switch to our skin tone bands for his face. And we are going to continue down the center three times with two skin tone bands each. And for the neck, we want to use three skin tone bands. And again, I'm going to straighten these bands with my hook. Just going to roll my hook around the pegs, straightening the bands as I go. The, uh, the neater your bands are on your loom when you start, the neater your finished result will be. So now we're going to move over to the left side and again we will be using double bands and we are going to put two skin tone bands three times going down the left side. We're going to do the same thing on the right, continuing from where we left off, two skin tone bands going three times down the right side. And now we can close off the face by putting two skin tone bands from the fifth peg on the left to the sixth peg in the center and from the fifth peg on the right to the sixth peg in the center. Continuing down his body, we are going to put two white bands going down the center, followed by two black bands, and two more black bands. two white bands and two black bands three times continuing down the center. And now we are going to go back up and do the left side and we are going to put two black bands from the seventh pin on the left to the seventh pin going down the center and the seventh pin on the right to the seventh pin in the center. And then we are going to go down the left side three times with two black bands each time. followed by two white bands and continuing down the left we want to put two black bands three times going down the left side. We're going to go over to the right and do the same thing. We're just going to go down the right side three times with two black bands. Followed by two white bands. And then two black bands three times continuing down the right. Now for his stockings, we're going to be using white and red.
and again we are going to put one of each and we are going to go down the left side two times with one white and one red band. And we are going to do that on the other side. One white and one red. One white and one red. And now we are going to finish off his kilt by putting two black bands from the top of where the red is to where we finished off in the center and two more black bands the same on the other side from the top of the red to where we've ended off in the center we want to take a single black band and wrap it around the center peg three times as a cap band and now we need to finish off his feet we are going to take two white bands and continue down the left side and two more white bands going down the right side and each of these we will cap with a black band wrapped three times going around the peg Do the same thing on the left and we need to make his belt and what I've done, I've taken a single black band and I'm going to put it on just between two pegs here and I'm going to take a gold band and wrap it around my hook six times. because we want to thread and actually I think I will put a cap band here just to hold this band in place just going to wrap it three times around that peg and I'm going to pick up these bands and slide them down onto this black band and I'm going to replace it on the peg and I'm going to do the same thing again, a single gold band, wrap it around my hook six times, and I will slide it onto this black band with the other gold bands. Again, I'm going to place this on the peg. I'm going to take another gold band and wrap it six times around my hook. and this we are going to slide onto our band as well and if you find you're running out of room you can stretch out your band and just slide your gold bands closer to the uh, second peg so that you've got more room and again I'm just going to slide these gold bands down onto my black band and we are going to do that one more time. So four times all together, a single gold band. Wrap it six times around your hook. And we will slide these gold bands onto our black band. There we go. And now I want to stretch the band out and I'm going to put my hook in and I'm just going to lift it off the peg over top of that cap band that we've put there and I'm going to place this on my holding hook both ends and we will set that aside and I can now remove this and I believe we are ready for our attachments so we will start with our eyes, they're going to go on the fourth peg down from the top and we are going to separate the eyes and I'm going to stretch just one band over the 
fourth peg down in the center and I will place the other end of the eyes around the fourth peg on the right and that will give us our eyes. Next we can attach our ears and they are going to go on the third peg down from the top on the left and the third peg from the top on the right. Next we have his arms and we want to make sure that the gold band is on top so I'm going to transfer hooks here so that when I place this arm on the seventh peg down on the left the gold bands will be facing up and we are going to attach the other arm and as you can see most times when you um, loom an arm or something there is a natural curve when you remove it from the loom I like to make sure that that curve is pointing up as well so I'm just going to remove this from my holding hook so that when I place it over this seventh peg down on the right that natural curve is going to be up for his hand and next we are going to attach our belt here and this is where we've joined our the bottom of the kilt we want to go up two pins two pegs rather and we will attach one side and we can even out these bands a little bit stretch them across we're going to attach one side to the left stretch it across and attach the other side to the right and there we have that part of his decoration we need to make sure that we've got some gold bands on hand but we're going to go up to the top for our holding bands and I'm going to put a single black band on the first peg on the left and the right and the second peg in the center another black band on the second peg on the left and the right and the third peg in the center a skin tone band is going to go on the third peg on the left and the right and the fourth peg in the center I'm not going to put one on the fourth pegs down because of the eyes but I am going to put one on the fifth peg on the left, the right and in the center and moving down to his body we're going to put a single black band around the seventh peg on the left, the right and the center the eighth pegs on the left, the right and in the center Sorry, the ninth pegs will get a white holding band around the ninth peg on the left, the right and the center the tenth peg get black the eleventh pegs get black and the twelfth pegs get black we're going to make his tie and if you've seen any of my recent previous videos you'll know that I'm kind of like a squirrel storing nuts for the winter when it comes to bands and I keep everything whether they are broken bands that uh, have just snapped or came snapped which is not very many most of these I kind of broke myself or whether they are bands that have just been stretched and now they're not really useful for anything other than um, double banding which is they're perfect for so I never throw anything out much to my husband's chagrin okay, for the tie or maybe it's a cravat or something I think they call it um, we are going to be using our black bands and what we need to do is take a single black band and double it and we are going to go from the fifth peg from the bottom to the fourth and another black band and double it go from the fourth to the third another black double it from the third to the second and another black double it from the second to the first 
And this we are going to cap with a single black band wrapped four times around the peg. And now we can loop this. And we're going to reach inside. And remember, we've done a wrap the cap band four times, so it will be a little tighter than we're used to. And these bands are doubled, so they as well will be a little tighter than we're used to. So just be careful when you're looping that you don't break them. And now we can carefully remove this from the loom. And we can go up here. And I think I'm actually going to set this aside before I attach it. I want to attach it perhaps as I'm looping. So I'm just going to set this aside. And we are going to need our silver bands as we loop. And what we're going to do, we are going to start in the center and we're going to reach inside our cap band and I'm going to loop over to the right. And again, I will reach in and grab the top two bands and loop over to the left. And we are going to also need our tassels. So I will get these off my hook and set them there. And the first tassel is going to go on this first black band in the center. So I'm going to grab a hold of my double loop and I'm actually going to double them. And then I will place them back on my hook. And I'm going to grab a hold of these black bands and pull them out. And I'm going to slide all of these gold bands down on to the black one before I loop it forward. And that will give me one tassel. And now we can go down and loop starting at the bottom on the left. And we're just going to reach inside the cap band, grab the two white bands, and loop them forward. And we're going to stop when we finish to the end of the red and white. And we'll go over and do the same thing on the right side. And again, we will stop right here. Next, we need to get another tassel ready for this side. And we are going to, again, stretch out our slip knot, double it, and put both on our hook and we can reach in and grab the bottom two black bands and we will stretch those forward and slide our gold bands down onto the black one and loop those on the peg above. And we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Again, we will stretch out our slip knot band, double it, put it on our hook, reach in and grab the bottom two black bands, and we will slide our gold bands for our tassel down onto the black band and loop it forward. And that will give us those tassels. And now we need to do the same thing again. We're going to reach in, double our slip knot band, being careful not to break it, of course. Put our hook in. And now we're going to loop the bottom two black bands, making sure to stay inside the holding band. that we are grabbing both black bands. And I'm just going to loop forward on each side. And for here in the center, 
I want to go underneath the this gold belt. So I'm just going to lift the belt up to the top or you can pull it down to the bottom. Actually it might be easier. And I'm going to reach in and grab the bottom two black bands. And this is where we will attach another tassel. So we're just going to sorry, slide the gold bands down onto the black band and loop that forward. And then we can release our belt. And I'm just going to tuck the tassel underneath. And actually I believe these sides were supposed to have tassels. So we're going to add them now. And it's not hard to go back. So we're just going to again take our slip knot double it, place our hook in, I'm going to pick up this black band and I will slide the gold bands down onto the black and loop it over the peg. And we'll do that for this right side as well. I'm going to grab my tassel, double my slip knot band, insert my hook, I'm going to lift these black bands off the peg, slide the gold band down, and replace it over the peg. And there we go, that will give us our tassels. And now we need our silver bands for the buttons on his jacket, and for his um, belt in the white area. Before we continue up his jacket, I realized that I missed two bands up here. So we're just going to go back and we need to take two black bands and place them from the bottom of the second pin on the left to the second pin in the center. And two black bands from the bottom of the second pin on the right to the second pin in the center. And now we can just replace our holding band around the second pin on the left and the right and the third pin in the center. And now we can go down and start looping up our jacket. And we are going to start on the left side and we are going to reach in and grab just the bottom two bands and loop them forward. And then we're going to reach in and grab the white bands and loop them forward. And we're going to continue all the way up to where we've attached the arm. Staying inside the holding band and making sure that we're forming our teardrop shapes as we go. And again, we are going to go down and do the right side, reaching inside the holding bands and looping forward as we go. And again, we're just going to form our raindrop shapes to where we've attached the arm. Before we loop from the shoulders to the neck, we need to take a gold band and wrap it four times around our hook. And then we can reach in here, grab the bottom two bands, and we're going to slide these gold bands down onto the black ones and loop over to the center. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Take our gold band, wrap it four times around our hook, and then we can reach in grab the bands leading to the neck, slide the gold band down, and loop the black bands over the center pin. And now before we loop up the center, we want to take our silver band and wrap it four times around our hook. And then we can reach in and grab these next two black bands going up the center and we will slide the silver bands onto the black and loop it forward. 
for the white band in the center we're just going to take a single silver band and this one we're only going to wrap three times around our hook and then we can reach in and grab the two white bands slide our silver ones down onto the white and loop it forward and next we want another silver band and wrap it four times around our hook and we'll reach in and grab the black bands slide the silver down onto that and loop it forward and again another silver band wrap it four times around our hook and grab these last two black bands slide our silver bands down onto the hook and loop it forward and before we loop the white part of the neck we're going to grab our tie here and I want to straighten out my cap band and I'm going to reach my hook inside all four of those bands and I'm just going to roll the bands around my hook to straighten them out a little bit. Now what I want to do actually I'm going to move this band from the center I'm just going to move it over to the left for now and I'm going to take my cap band and attach it around this peg and then I can replace these black bands with this silver attached around that peg and I'm going to take I'm going to reach in and grab the white bands at the bottom and loop them forward and before I loop them onto the peg I'm going to grab a hold of these black bands and I will place them over the center peg for his tie and the same with the white over that center peg and now we can reach in and we need to remember that for the neck we've used three bands so we want to make sure that we grab all three when we're looping forward and it's very tight in here so be careful you don't want to break your bands and I'm just going to gently place those and then I'm going to roll my hook around to release the tension on those bands and now we can reach in and grab the top two bands and those will loop over to the right. The next two bands are going to loop over to the left and then we can reach in and grab the bottom two skin tone bands and loop them forward and staying inside the eye bands we will loop again. And we're going to stop there at the ear. We're going to go over and do the same thing on the right side forming our teardrop shape and staying inside the holding bands and the eye bands as we loop the bottom two bands and now we can loop up the center we're going to do one and then our second one our nose this time is going to be attached from the fifth peg in the center to the fourth peg so we're going to loop it up around the peg with the eyes after we slide on our nose now we're going to reach in and grab the bottom two skin tone bands staying inside the holding bands and we want to make sure we don't grab our ear bands we're grabbing just the bottom two and we're going to loop up and we're going to do the same thing on the right side grabbing just the bottom two skin tone bands and we will loop those forward and now we want to grab the band for our hat and we are going to take our cap band we're going to place it over the second peg down on the left 
and we are going to stretch it over and we are going to place the other side on the second peg down on the right. There we go. And now we can loop in here. We're going to reach in and grab just the bottom two black bands and we will loop those forward. And we'll do the same thing on the right side, grabbing the bottom two black bands and looping them forward. And we can reach in the center and grab the two skin tone bands. And again, for this next, we want to loop it underneath the band. We are going to grab our red and white band and pull it down over the third peg down in the center. And then we're going to reach in and grab the bottom two black bands and loop them forward. And then we can replace our band. And that puts our band over top where it can be seen. And now we can reach in and loop these last two from the top peg on the left to the top peg in the center. The final two from the top peg on the right to the top peg in the center and the last two in the center from the second peg down to the first peg. There we go. Now we want to double check that we have looped all of our bands and I missed two here in the middle. So I'm just going to back up here and undo these that I've just put on. And despite not wanting to ever make mistakes when you're doing a tutorial, I'm glad this happened because it is a learning experience for everybody. And now I'm just going to take the cap band of my red and white band here. So I'm going to grab all of the red bands and I'm going to remove this side of my band so that I can loop these bands to the center. So I'm going to want to pull these bands down back where they belong at the bottom so that we're not grabbing the wrong bands. And I want to reach in here and loop the two bands that are going over to the center. And I've grabbed hold of the cap band, the holding band. So we want to loop these two bands to the center. That's one. And two. And now I'm going to stretch this back over and replace this band. Replace the cap bands back on the second peg down. And I can do the same thing on the right. This time I'm going to use my hook because these aren't secured yet. So I'm going to grab the two white and the two red and remove it. And I'm just going to carefully hold this while I reach in and grab the two black bands that are going to loop to the center. And then I can replace my red and white bands, stretching them back across and over the second peg down from the top on the right. And now we can reach in and loop these black bands on the left, looping up to the center. 
And we will do the same thing on the right, grabbing the bottom two bands and looping forward. And then again, our last two black bands here in the center. And I'm just going to stretch these back down to the bottom so that I know I'm grabbing the bottom two. And we will stretch these to the top center pin. There we go. And that's why it pays to check to make sure that you've looped all the bands. So we are going to continue to double check and make sure that we've looped everything and that we've attached our gold bands to the shoulder and one to the arm the arm on the left as you look at him on the loom. And we want to make sure we've got our silver buttons and buckle and our gold belt or decal as well as our tassels here. And like I've said in previous videos, it's very easy to tell if you look sideways down your loom whether or not you've missed a band. And instead of a black slip knot here at the top, I'm going to be using the red pom-pom that we made for the hat. So what we need to do is reach inside all of these black bands and we are going to grab a hold of the slip knot bands that we've used for our hat and we're going to pull it through and then we are going to tuck our knot of our pom-pom through and we will give that a little tug and we're going to secure that tighter closer to the hat when we remove this from the loop. Now we're ready to remove this and we'll start from the bottom and we're just going to carefully release these bands got extra bands here I'm just putting my hook down inside the center of the peg and rolling it around to release the bands that way and that's especially important when you get to the neck where there are so many bands and uh, sometimes the shoulders as well it helps to just use your hook to help release those bands and the rest should come off fairly easily. We'll just, I'm just using my hook to pry the bands up, being careful not to stretch them too much so that they don't break. needs a little bit of tweaking. We're going to adjust his eyes and his nose. And his legs. And I'm going to adjust his feet to define them a little better. And I'm just going to place my hook down the teardrop of the white band and pull it to the side. And I will do the same thing on the other foot. Placing my hook down through the center of the white band and just tugging it to the side. And that, I'll just move these tassels out of the way. And that will define him a little better, define his feet a little better. And Adjust the tassels to be hanging kind of more straight down. And 
if you find that they're not, you can always just position the bands. And I'm just going to roll this tassel band over to the center so that the tassel is kind of hanging in instead of pointing to the outside. And I think that's a little bit better than the little balls that I had before for his tassels. I'm going to adjust his hand and I will bend his arms down a little at the side. There we go. And we are going to attach a mouth and for that I am just going to use a skin tone band and we will need our C-clip and I'm just going to put my hook through in the general vicinity of the mouth grab a hold of my skin tone band and pull it through to the back again placing my hook from the back to the front in the general area of where the mouth will be grab the other end of my band and pull it through to the back and then I can secure both of these with a C-clip I can remove my hook and I'm going to go around to the front and adjust the mouth I'm just going to place my hook inside and give it a little tug and position it a little better straighten up the silver buttons on his uniform and the same with the buckle around the white I'm just going to even them out so that you can see all three distinctly for his buckle and again I mentioned that I would tighten this up a little bit so that it's more secure and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach my hook in through these red bands that are part of the slip knot and I'm just going to grab a couple of the cap band loops and I'm placing them over my hook so that I can maneuver that partially through the loop there we go. And that will position his pom pom on the top of his hat, like that. I will readjust his feet. And I suppose you could uh, make a rifle for him. I'm not sure if they actually hold one or not if when they're standing guard, but if you wanted to I'm sure you probably could and it would just be probably a longer version of the tie that we made so there we have it this is in honor of Corporal Nathan Sorello who lost his life last Wednesday may he rest in peace and I sincerely thank him from the bottom of my heart for his service and my most sincerest condolences go out to his family. He was a young father of a little boy and um, I wish him all the comfort that uh, he will need in the in the coming months and, and, and years. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.